Yeah, buddy. What is going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with the next episode of the Summoner's Spotlight Series. Summoner's Spotlight Series. So uh, if you guys are new to the channel or, or haven't been uh, connected for quite some time, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, the Summoner Spotlight Series was a kind of an addition to the Man Crush Monday. Uh, from what I do, if you guys are familiar with Man Crush Monday, we have ourselves the... Um, you know, series dedicated to promoting the YouTubers and streamers, um, established from YouTubers and streamers um, that go out of the way to provide great content, right? And so, you know, that being said, we have some people that are established in the community, but we also have some people that kind of go under the radar that create uh, amazing, uh, you know, uh, video tutorials or amazing, uh, you know, uh, posts on the Reddit or the official forums. And so I wanted to, you know, take the opportunity to uh, obviously, you know, and announce them and let you guys know what's kind of going down uh, with that. So uh, this episode is going to be dedicated to a member of the Fury Guild. If you're familiar with the Fury Guild, that is a uh, G3 guild on the global side. Uh, and we got ourselves today, uh, Zaomi uh, is how I'm going to pronounce it, Zaomi. Um, he has a YouTube channel that's going to be tied up into this video. If you look at the top right corner, uh, you'll see a link uh, to go to his uh, video or uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he uh, created a couple of videos, um, one about two weeks ago and then another one just a couple of days ago doing some testing and whatnot. And it, it definitely blew my mind away. Um, as you guys know, with regards to Giants B10, Dragons B10, we're always trying to figure out um, you know, the, the quickest way to, you know, improve our teams, um, you know, the quickest way to, to clear, right? As you guys know, that's the way we, we generate the money. We need the money to upgrade the runes. We need to upgrade the runes to improve our gameplay. And we can't do that. Now, we can't keep up with the top players in the game if we're running a three-minute Dragons run uh, while the your, your opponent or your competitor is running a, um, you know, sub-one-minute run. So, um, crazy enough, we did ourselves, you know, we, we, I took a look at the, the, the video, I was blown away and it just so happened that it kind of gave me a new, uh, a new, uh, I don't know how you would say it. it's like, I, I just had a little bit of an excitement, you know, because it goes down to, um, what I've kind of been talking to you guys, uh, for quite some time. So, um, before we, before we kind of finish off with that, I want to showcase, uh, the unit that he had and then, you know, kind of get you guys fired up because this is the. This is an old but new toy, right? So uh, his video spotlight was on Luna, the dark, uh, the dark Perrier. And so, you know, when we think about Luna, I mean, it's been criticized for so long, for so long, as far as the quality of this unit, um, and, and, and you know what, what its potential, what it could do. And so I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, when when I saw his video title, I'm like. All right, sub, you know, sub one a minute dragon run. Let's see what unit he's showcasing. And believe it or not, this was the unit that was featured, right? So let's take a look at it. If you're not familiar with it, um, Dark Puree, uh, we have ourselves the ability to, you know, throw two cards, remove the beneficial effects. So it has a, you know, it has a reasonably decent, uh, um, you know, decent, uh, you know, skill set when it comes to Dragons V10 helping remove that beneficial effect. Um, of course, we're going for that first, you know, wave kill. So hopefully we don't have to deal with the immunity, but. Still nice to have um, when you're bringing it into the Dragon's uh, mix. Uh, an attack that does uh, continuous damage uh, to an enemy for three turns with 80% chance. Um, this one got a lot of criticism back in the day uh, because, again, the, just what, what's kind of tied into uh, the water. The water one has the uh, the freeze on it. The, the the fire one, Clara, has the attack and defense break. I mean, all of its counterparts are just, just better when it comes to what it provides. On that skill set you know versus just continuous damage and then last but not least we have ourselves dark force um an interesting skill set to say the least is that it you know deals uh, great damage decreasing the attack bar targets attack bar by 50 percent and then in addition to that if your hit point is uh full um it, it's gonna go ahead and increase your attack bar by 100 now um when you look at this skill obviously it increases your attack uh bar by 100 percent but if there's already somebody at 100%, then they're obviously going to go first and then this one will follow up. But what it's kind of saying to you guys is, is that uh, this is this is going to give you um, this is going to give you, you know, basically an opportunity to use a skill and then, you know, follow up with a second or first skill, reducing the cooldown time on the first on the third. And then, you know, being able to kind of rotate the skills, you know, really quickly. So what we did was we took uh, Pungbex runes for now um, and we go ahead and. We went ahead and put them on this. 
and we're gonna go ahead and test them out now again um this is just my particular luna you know we'll, we'll, we'll showcase it in there but again if you haven't seen the video already um make up make sure you go over to uh, Xiaomi's uh you know Xiaomi's youtube channel so you can check out his his setup um, and, and what he was able to accomplish, the speed that he was able to do. He not only tested it with one Luna, he actually had uh, one of his guildies, Cognix. If you guys are familiar with Cognix, he was a um, Educate and Dominate guest. And if you haven't seen that video, I would go ahead and tie it to this video right here. I'm checking in the top right, okay? So big shout out to the Fury community. Thank you again for uh, Xiaomi to create this video. Um, you know, this is, let me, let me finish this video off here real quick. It's, 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 it's people like this that look at the ups on a unit, right? When, when people are looking down at the unit and they're just like, oh, no, no, there's no way you can make this work. It, it's, it's moments like this in time where this gets me fired up to no end and people um, make something out of nothing. Make, make, make some of the best units um, work that, that people just continuously, continuously criticize. So uh, I give you uh, props, sir. My hat's off to you for taking a chance, six star in this unit. Uh, and, and, and make it a believer, not just, you know, in the community, but myself. Um, I am super excited not only to use this in Dragon's B10, um, but I'm going to I'm gonna use this in Guild Wars. I'm going to figure out a method to, you know, take a look and see if, if, if this damage multiplier is strong. What kind of, what kind of, you know, attack power and critical damage do I need um, with a good amount of speed, you know, to follow up in a YOLO comp so I can take advantage of its second skill Getting that first turn, hitting the hard, killing the units, and then following up, um, you know, with a second attack on that. Because I mean, if you think about it, this 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 skill set, um, it has it's, it's kind of like almost like a Tanya, where you know it goes for a unit if you kill it, it goes for a second unit. But again, it has the elemental neutrality. It is a dark unit, so it's going to be able to follow up and do some good damage. The multipliers on both of these skills are really decent. So again, enough talk. Let's see some video action. I'm going to feature. Uh, I'm going to be doing a um, hundred. Uh, 150 runs uh, with this particular unit and I will showcase you um, special clips within that within those runs for the end of this video so again guys big shout out to Xiaomi and Cognix uh, of the Fury Guild uh, shout out again to everybody that goes out of the way to um, take some of these underrated and overlook the units and, and make them what they are today which is you know nothing um, just amazing just truly amazing all right so that is it guys uh, this is Childish or Childish Plays. Check it out. Take care, and we will see you in the highlights of this Dragon's B10 run. I'm out. But honestly, you've got to know that this ain't living, but we could run from and let
myself I never thought that this would be our end But it's nothing new